In this golf swing lesson, I'm going to give you my top three basic golf scenarios to help you strike your irons pure. How should you be practicing if you fat the golf ball, thin the golf ball, and you're still striving for that perfect contact? Before I give you my simple golf tips though, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, hello again. Little reminder, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up as it helps the channel. And don't forget to turn your bell on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. Let's get straight into the tips. Now, each one of these scenarios is gonna be focusing on you controlling your low point, where your arc bottoms out in your golf swing, because Inevitably, where you have your low point is crucial to you striking your irons better. Now, depending on your facilities as well, you might have to practice this on the golf course, but if you've got a really good facility at your course, you might be able to do this all at the driving range. Scenario number one, practicing off a downslope. Before I go into why you wanna be practicing off this, the common thing that we see most amateur golfers struggling with and the reasons why you might fat and thin your golf shots. I talk about this a lot on the channel. Generally speaking, the patterns that I see are amateurs shift off the golf ball because that's what they're told to do, but then they struggle to recenter. So they shift off the golf ball, stay back here, and by the time they get back down to the golf ball, they haven't got their body back to where it needs to be for that low point to be on and in front of their golf ball. So you strike ball then turf. They stay back here, don't get back far enough, low points in front of that golf ball, fat shots, thin shots, depending on how high your swing arc is. And hitting off a downslope, ask yourself, is that one of the hardest shots you find when you're out on the golf course. Do you always miss strike it? Putting yourself in this scenario is gonna do a lot of the work for you to strike that golf ball better because the slope makes you put your weight more forward. It stops you from shifting so far off the golf ball. You'll start to turn more centered and you'll find it easier to get your low point in front of the golf ball because you're, the slope will be pushing you down that way. You'll get your lead shoulder in front of that golf ball. So your low point will be ahead of that golf ball too. If you find that you're so close to striking that golf ball pure, just move your ball position back a tiny bit and carry on with the same feels on this down slope. It's such a good place to practice if you can, whether you're on the golf course, just playing nine holes, or if your facility at the range has some awkward lies that you can hit off. This can transform how you strike that golf ball. That I'm not turning and shifting off the golf ball, I'm turning more on top of it. Easy to get my low point in front of that golf ball and strike it nice and pure. Little side note, if you are practicing off this kind of lie, maybe just use a little bit more loft as the ball flight will tend to come out a little bit lower. Scenario number two is perfect for golfer that loves to practice at the driving range off mats. And make sure you stay tuned for scenario number three, because that's probably the hardest, but most beneficial for every single golfer out there. This one I've got to credit Mr. Pete Lockett for, as I've stolen this off of him. Put me your towel on a range mat. You know range mats when you go to the range and you feel like you've hit it really good for that session. And so many people, I'm sure you've used it before. Oh, I hit it great on the range, but not on the course. Well, when you hit off mats, you catch the mat before the ball, the ball jumps up off of that mat slightly because it's so springy, you catch the sweet spot and you hit your good shot. Whereas the towel takes that bit of forgivingness out of that mat and you've got a strike ball first. I haven't got my net set up and it takes me 10, 15 minutes. So, I'm not going to hit any shots on this one. And we're going to go straight to scenario three. Pop these towels on your range mats and start striking your irons pure. Scenario number three, by far the hardest. One, because it's hard generally to find a practice spot that has a bunker to practice out of that you can hit full shots. If again, you're playing nine holes, just chuck a couple of balls when there's no one around and give this a try. And it's also the hardest because any slight mishap on strike, it's a disaster. Catch the ground before the ball, it's going halfway. Oh. And sometimes not even that. Catch it thin, it's flying way over the green. And just like the other two scenarios, this is gonna make you push that low point forward, change possibly how you turn. 
get that low point in front of that golf ball. And if you don't have one that you can hit full shots, just practice sort of 50 yard pitches. It doesn't have to go a long way. And again, I'm doing all similar things to the other two scenarios. And that's the whole point of this video in making sure that I'm not moving off the golf ball too much. If I do move off it, make sure that I'm recentering by the time I'm at the top of my backswing. And then you'll really start to see you're catching that ball first, then ground after. You get good at this one, your ball striking will just trend in the right direction. See how many you can do in a row, striking that ball first, then the sand. Lovely. Let me know in the comments down below if any of these tips, scenarios, help you strike your irons better. Do you use any of them yourself already? Before I sign off, little reminder again, if you're enjoying the channel and the content, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button, hit the thumbs up as it helps the channel and turn your bell on so you get notified of when I upload all my new videos. I hope that helps you strike your irons like you want to, pure. See you in the next one.